Hey guys, I'm sparing you from having to look at me today because I'm currently moving apartments, so my apartment is a mess. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Dylan, nice to meet you. Today's tutorial may be obvious to some, but for those just starting out, this should get you started with making your shots look a little better when color grading. All we're going to do is balance the color in our shots and expand our dynamic range. The first thing we're going to do is press command 7 to bring up our scopes. We're going to use the luma waveform to check if our shot is exposed correctly, the vector scope to see if our skin is accurate, and the RGB parade to help us balance our colors. If you're not sure how to use these, I created an in-depth tutorial which should help you out, which I will link above and in the description. Press command 6 to bring up your color corrections, and the first thing we're going to do is color balance our shot here. So if we take a look at the RGB parade, we'll notice that the colors are not really balanced at all there's a lot more red in the image and uh, not as much blue so all we're gonna do is go to the master wheel here we're gonna go to this center color value slider and I'm gonna push this or pull this away from the red towards kind of the teal and the blue and already that looks a little bit better and if you look on the RGB parade you'll notice as I click on and off that it did make a difference it brought them a little closer together I probably could even move the midtones a little bit towards teal as well so basically if your shot is unbalanced use the color wheels and pull the color slider in the opposite direction of the incorrect color in your shot whether that be in the highlights in the midtones in the shadows or throughout your whole image the next thing we're gonna do is expand our dynamic range by raising the exposure slider on the whole shot. The reason I'm doing this on the master wheel and not the highlight wheel is because the shot was kind of dark to begin with. I'm only going to raise it a tad. You want to make sure your highlights don't go past 100 IRE and you should also have your skin tones in the appropriate value as well. Once again, I'll link some videos down below that go more in depth on that. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my exposure slider in my shadows and I'm going to bring this down closer to zero on the Luma waveform. And the last thing I'm going to do is adjust the brightness of my mid-tones maybe bring it down a tad for a little bit moodier stylized feel if we take a look at the before and after that is a pretty big difference our color is balanced and our image pops a lot more if this video helped you out do me a solid and press the thumbs up button and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe check out my videos i do a lot of tutorials like this as well so if this helped you out then some of my others you may find useful as well i will see you guys next week have a great day